Hi and welcome to episode number 631 with whatsforchild.com and the second part of making sugar wash using the Still Spirits Turbo Pure Yeast. This has been fermenting now for seven days and we're going to do our third reading. I've been taking readings over the last three days and yesterday we came out at 870. Today we're going to check again if it's consistent then our wash is complete. Okay, for two days in a row we've been sitting at 870 and I'm satisfied that the fermentation is now complete. Now before clearing the wash, what we need to do is degas the wash. If any CO2 is left in this, this may hinder the, de the clearing process. So what we're going to do is give this a vigorous stir for a few minutes just to get rid of all the CO2 in the liquid. We really do want to unsettle all the sediment so that the clearing agents can go to work on that and drag them to the bottom of the pot. Okay, now the clearing agent is a two-part process consisting of a product called Kiesel Sol and then followed by Kytosan. The Kiesel Sol is added to the mixture first snip the corner of the Kiesel Sol, that's part A of the clearing set and we're going to add that now this needs to be stirred into the liquid very well and then the liquid or the wash will be left for an hour before adding the kytosan. So we're going to give it another stir to get that well combined and then we'll see you in 60 minutes. It has now been about an hour and we're going to snip the corner off of the Carter sand. Now with this one we just need to sprinkle it lightly across the surface. Getting a good distribution. The way the process works is that the one liquid, the Kisasol, is has a positive charge and the Kytosan is a heavier molecule with a negative charge. The Kisasol attracts and latches onto any particles in the liquid. When the Kytosan is introduced, It is attracted to the Kiesel Sol and being a heavier molecule everything sinks to the bottom of the wash leaving an absolutely clear sugar wash on top. We're giving it a top stir to distribute the kytosan across the top of the liquid. As that settles through the wash it will pick up all the Kiesel Sol and the solids and precipitate to the bottom of the wash. We're going to put the lid on that and leave that for 12 hours to clear completely. Okay, this has been about 14 hours now and our wash is absolutely clear. with a layer of sludge lying at the bottom of the fermentation vessel. Prepare the distiller by adding the boiling saddles. Pour in a cap full of conditioner.
and open the tap of the fermenter filling up the distiller to four liters all that remains to be done is to pop the lid onto the distiller and plug it in after an hour or so the first drips will appear from the spout and within about two to two and a half hours the run will be complete we've collected nearly 500 milliliters so far we're going to let the still continue until we've collected 700 mils and then switch the still off okay we're at 700 milliliters and we're going to turn off the still and allow the last few drops to drip from the machine okay there we have it 700 mils of distillate we're going to top that up to one liter and that will cut the 60% alcohol at 700 mils to 40% ABV one liter just to confirm this we're gonna drop an alchemeter into a small sample of the liquid and we're sitting at 40 about 42 percent which I think is quite acceptable 42 43 You can water it down further if you feel that you want it exactly 40. But in South Africa, where I am, 43% is the legal statute as far as hard tech goes. So we're going to leave it like that. The next step is to replace the carbon filter in your filter unit and transfer the distillate or the distilled product to, to the filter. This will take 6 to 12 hours to run through the filter and then we'll have a good neutral spirit. Pop the lid on and away you go. And now for the big taste test. Over here we have the distillate from the cheap wine which hasn't been filtered. Here we have the same product which has been filtered. And here we have the product distilled from Turbo Pure Yeast. And this has been filtered. Before we continue I'd like to just mention that by definition vodka is a neutral spirit vodka can normally not be produced with a pot still the definition of vodka is a 95 percent pure ethanol which has been diluted with water to 40 percent or close to 40 percent there is no aroma and no flavor in pure definition vodka there are however companies in the world who produce vodkas using pot stills and they each have their own particular flavor aroma etc now this has become known as craft vodka what we are discussing today is the pure definition vodka and how the air still can using the turbo pure yeast make something that is very very close to a column distilled vodka so let's go ahead with the taste this one here as i mentioned was made from a very cheap wine and has not been filtered through the carbon filter system 
So let's give that a taste. There is a sweet aroma. And a pleasant sweet flavor. Floral mixed with apple. Interesting. Now this one here is gone is the same product also made with the cheap wine and this has been run through the carbon filter almost no aroma very much smoother but it still does have that hint of floral apple combo type flavor to it. Now this one is the one made using Still Spirits Turbo Pure Yeast and this has been run through the carbon filter. Very very faint aroma. And absolutely no flavor. You can, however, in all of them, taste that there is a significant portion of alcohol. So I think that proves that the Turbo Pure Yeast can produce something close to the dictionary definition of vodka, which is a flavorless, aromaless, alcoholic water. Overall, I'm quite impressed all the way around. Um, as vodka goes, that is absolutely brilliant, very smooth, and the air still has done a wonderful job of distilling all three products. Stay tuned for our next episode where we will be producing a grain based mash which will produce acetones and volatiles that need to be removed during the distillation process. We're going to run that through the still spirits air still and see how we manage with that. That could be quite exciting because it opens up a whole new world for the air still as um, everyone tends to think that the air still can only be used with the, air, with the still spirits pure turbo yeast and um, I don't think that this is necessarily true as we have already proved by distilling the wine and coming up with a really really nice smooth good quality product we'll be back in a couple of days don't forget to like subscribe and share and we'll see you real soon